Welcome back to this free training series about how to build and monetize an affiliate marketing website. Amar here and in this part of this of this training, I'm going to be showing you my best WordPress theme for affiliate marketing. This is a 100% free uh, theme, but it is very fast and responsive as well. It has two main columns, one for the content and the blog posts and uh, all the pages, the your content, and the other one is a sidebar for uh, particular things like uh, opt-in forms and other uh, advertising options. It has a horizontal menu, menu on the top here where you can put your pages or your categories and it has a logo at the very top. Now let's check how responsive is this theme and for that you can head to this website responsivedesignchecker.com and then you put the URL of the website. I'm going to use the one that I'm using for the training. So I'm going to press OK and it shows me how it looks like on a desktop, tablet or smartphone. So this is desktop. I can change the size of the screen as well so we can um, see how it looks like on different sizes of computers or screen computers and then if you click on tablet here also you will see how it looks like on different tablets this is one for example and you can see uh, that it is readable clean and very responsive same thing happens if I go to the uh, mobile section and let's use for example an iPhone 7 and this is how it looks like on an iPhone 7. So the menu is clear and you can go, for example, to different pages to check. This is the blog page, how it looks like. And if I open any blog post, I will see how it will look like on a mobile device or smartphone. So it's readable as well. And everything, the links are clickable. Everything is good. Now let's go ahead and download uh, this free WordPress theme for our website and you need to head to this website here call, called templatepocket.com templatepocket.com and this is exactly actually the template itself but you need to go to this page here where it says themes and then they put two themes here one is called amphibious and the other one is pocket and to be honest with you i didn't see any difference between them but i'm just going to use the pocket one and then if you'd like to see a demo you can click here but if you would like to download the the, the theme you click here so once you click on this button you resolve this captcha click on this button and you will download the theme to your computer and I already did that and this is exactly what you will get when you download the theme. Now let's go ahead and install the theme on the website that we are using on this training series and if you remember from last video it was viraltrafficsnowball.net and this is like the default uh, template for WordPress and here is the admin panel so you go to appearance and then you click on themes and after that you click on add new and uh, you click on this one here that says upload theme and then use this button to browse to your computer find the right folder where you kept that theme and then you just click on it and open so now we selected the theme and we're going to install it so click on install now and wait a little bit for it to be installed and then we need to activate the theme so once it's activated uh, we are going to check it on the front end and we are going to refresh and here is exactly what you will see in the next part now we are going to customize the theme to make it look like this one here so before we start customizing the theme for the website, I just wanted to let you know that I prepared some graphics like the logo, for example, I made this one and this one, but I will be using this one. And I might make a video on this training series on how I make my graphics completely for free. So you might want to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future videos now let's go ahead and customize this theme we want to head to appearance and then click customize now we know that the pocket theme is installed and active we want to customize it by going here 
and the first thing we want to do is check the theme options so if you click here you will see the general theme options so the read more button that will take people to the uh, to the details of a blog post you want it to be read more or something else you can change that and this is the number of characters in the description of each blog post you can change that as well and now the layout options the uh, the boxes here for the uh, blog posts if they can be wide or just boxes uh, I don't really uh, see the difference, but uh, this is when you click on your blog page and you see all the blog posts uh, below each other. And now this is the sidebar if you want it to be on the right or on the left. I mean, most people uh, put it on the uh, right hand side. So let's keep it like this. And then let's go back. These two options here are to show or hide a few details about the blog post. So I just keep them by default, but you can play around with these if you want to, for example, display the date, display the categories, it's up to you. And then this is the footer. So the footer of the website is let me show you the footer here if I go all the way down I have this copyright and I have this large banner I'm going to show you where I did add this exactly I want to go to the same place this is actually the website that I'm using for the training and this is the real website here but I'm going to uh, copy uh, information from the training website to the real website so I'm going to go customize and then theme options and as you can see here I'm going to footer options and I have this code here control C and then I'm gonna head back to my new website and then I will put here control V so if I publish now and I want to go and check the footer I will see that same banner but you can put anything that you want here so I have that banner in the footer now all right so let's go back now these are the theme options now I go to site identity and uh, here is where I add my logo and I decide if I want to display display the text title and the text tagline or not I, I'm not going to display them I'm going to use only the logo so click here to select the logo and then browse to the folder where you put your graphics and I have them right here so my logo is this one here it has a size of 500 pixels on 60 pixels so now it's going to be uploaded and then I make sure I select everything and then crop image and now it has been added if I publish now my website will have this logo here let's refresh the front end and see the difference so here is the difference now my website is saying uh, that is uh, showing this graphic here instead of the text now let's go to the next option which is the colors you can customize a few colors and uh, you can customize actually the background color the gray that you can see here you can change it by clicking here taking another color as you can see here if you move around the color of the background is changing and you put the one that you like the most so this is exactly how it works but I'm not going to mess with this I'm just going to keep the default color as it is publish so and then header image background image menus etc I'm, I'm not going to work with these here on this page i'm going to go back to my wordpress admin panel and i'm going this time to take care of the widgets uh, that are on the sidebar so go to appearance and then click widgets widgets and here is exactly what you have right now if you go to the front end you'll see that the search is the first one uh, recent posts is the second one and uh, here is exactly the search and here is the recent posts but I want to 
actually do something that looks like this I have here this box here that is to build my email list I have an advertising here another one I have some ads from leads leap and that's for monetization I have also this ad here and I have the affiliate disclaimer that I always put on the right hand side of the of the website I will show you on a future video on this training series how I made this banner uh, for the lead magnet and also how I inserted this web form for my autoresponder to collect email addresses and I will show you also what are these advertisings here and how you can insert them here but right now what I'm going to do I'm just going to get the information from the old website that I was preparing for this training and put them on the brand new website that is right here so I will delete them all and then start from scratch on the sidebar of the new website so every time you click on the arrow and then you click delete and now everything is gone let me grab one text box and drag it and drop it here now the content of this uh, box I'm going to bring it from the old website for the one I'm using for the training but after I will show you exactly what it is let me go to the training website click here and then click on text here to get the source code and then control a to select everything control C to copy get back to the brand new website click on text and then click on control V to paste and then save so if I click now on visual I have the banner and this symbol here is for the opt-in form so if I refresh my front end page or my home page I will see that right here and I'm going to continue with this sidebar here so let me go back to my training website and go to the second box which is this one here always click on text and then control a control C to select everything and copy it get back to the new website I'm going to grab another box and drag it and drop it just below the other one and then click text and then control V and then save and I'm going to refresh to see what happened on the front end and I will see a brand new banner here now I have this leads leap banner that uh, advertises leads leap I'm going to take it from the training website here and then put it on the other one and as you can see it has been added following the same process and right now I'm going to show you how you can add this widget here to monetize your affiliate marketing website using this pay per click from leads leap itself so you head to leads leap and if you don't have an account there is a link in the description below you can register a free account and use the pay-per-click to uh, monetize your website and you need to head actually to this section here where it says money and then you click on get PPC widget code and then it will let you design your widget yourself so what I want to do is give it a fixed width which is 300 pixels because my sidebar is like 300 pixels wide and this is the number of ads that you want let's say for example I want four ads so what I want to do as well is change the color of the titles here I want to put it like dark blue like this and then I click on get code now this is the code I want to copy and take to my uh, back end of my uh, website this is my website so I want it to be underneath this one here so what I want to do is grab a text widget and put it just below the last one let me click done and this is the new one so I click on text here and paste the code I um, I got from leads leap and then if I click on visual I will see only these symbols but if I save and then refresh my website I will see that the ads are right here and if if ever if anyone clicks on these ads here you will make money on leads leap 
this is another ad for a classified submission so I'm going to take it from here to the new website so all I have to do is uh, let me it's this one here so I go to the text so I can copy the source code control a control C and then I go to my brand new website and then I grab another text widget so let me click done and then grab this text widget and put it here after that I have to paste the code here control V and then save so let me check on visual this is what it looks like and now I'm going to refresh the front end and see what happened uh, here is the other ad I might give it a title here so let me grab the title which was your classified ad on thousands of websites so click control C and then get back here and put the title here and then save and let's go back and refresh to see if I have my title and yes right here the title is right here so you can see now that your sidebar is uh, looking great and, and um, we will we will have some content of course on the left hand side later we will have our menu here etc but make sure you watch the entire uh, training series to get the most of it and as you can see here I have an affiliate disclaimer that I want to put on the sidebar as well this is very important so what I want to do actually is just copy this text here copy and then go to the new website bring a brand new box on the uh, sidebar and then just paste that text after that I grab the title which is affiliate disclaimer control C and then get back here control V and let me save it and then I will be back on the front end and uh, refresh the page to see it appearing right here so here's it here is the brand new website viral traffic snowball.net I have my logo I will be making a menu here my sidebar is good and then I'm missing the content here all right thank you very much for watching the video uh, please give it a like and drop a comment in the box below in the next video i'll be showing you the most important plugins that you need to install on your affiliate marketing website and make sure you watch the entire uh, training series to get the most of it see you on the next video